For this presentation, I will discuss Western Electric Intercom Units. We have in front of us several different circuit cards, and these were made by Western Electric for their intercom. They did make different types of packaged key systems that these cards would plug into. They had a 718 COM key, a 1434 COM key, a 2260, I believe. They had a deluxe dial intercom, which was a 626 panel, which I will show later on in this video, and a 641 panel um, that was the most common for intercoms that was uh, not part of the COM key series. We have two rotary dial cards, and this here is a 407 KTU. It's a 10 station rotary dial only KTU. We have here a 424, and this is a 19 station intercom, rotary dial only. We have a touch tone adapter card, and they made two different cards. This is the old style that's got the relays on it, and then they made a later style, the same size, but it had integrated circuits and only three or four relays. Unfortunately, I do not have one of those in my collection. When the touch tone unit is paired up with the rotary, then you have a combination rotary tone intercom. The touch tone decoder will not function as a standalone item without the 407 or 424. It must be paired up with it. They also made for the ComKey series a multi link adapter. This is a two link adapter, and they made a card that's identical to it except it was a three link adapter. The two link and three link was used in the 626 panel for the deluxe dial intercom or the com key series key telephone systems. They also had for the manual uh, intercoms, the button and buzzer is what they were referred to, a 401 KTU. They made a 401A and a 401B. Just the operation of the relay was a little different. Here's an early 401. This is uh, uh, the first generation 401. The red circuit cards with the green on the back are steel printed circuit boards that were stamped out and then coated and then they placed the components on it. So anytime you see a Western Electric card that's red, that is an actual steel circuit board. The later generation ones that were made out of what we have today, shall we say, would be the kind of a pinkish red violet color or sometimes it would just be the um, ivory color clear. This was a later model circuit board, much cheaper to build because it wasn't a steel plate. It was uh, your standard um, material for making PCBs. I have the camera focused in on at two 641 panels. The panel that is on the left side of the screen, which has the light lit, is a 19 station intercom that I have connected to some of my display telephones. The panel that is on the right side is a 10 station intercom and I am using it for control and relays to turn stuff off and on. I have in the viewfinder my deluxe dial intercom. This is a 626 panel and it's the same size as a 620 panel so it takes up the same amount of space. The 641 would be the half size panels. Looking at the circuit cards I have a 424 19 station card. I have a multi-link adapter card 
and then there's another control card and I'm not sure what it does right off of memory and then the DTMF decoder this unit wired with the 642 panel and some an additional KTUs could provide a dial tone a trunk access and two or three talking links these were very uncommon because most of the time you only had a single path intercom this is a 718 com key packaged key system that has the built-in intercom so it's using the 424 the 440 and the two link adapter which i believe is a 460 ktu we're looking at a 207c 10 station rotary dial intercom this is a wire spring ktu then over here on the right side is a 247 touch tone adapter and then i have a 216 transfer relay this allows us to go from 10 stations up to 19 stations i would dial an eight That was not an 8, that was a 5. If I was to have a touchstone phone connected to this, the selector switch would not move uh, because the 247 has relays on it that provide the same contact configuration or the correct contact configuration to give us the same codes of one through zero the timing circuit that is on the ktu which i will show here is used for both um, touch tone and rotary this is the inside of my 6a intercom cabinet in the upper right corner we have a 207 selector then we have some 216 KTUs each 216 can expand this system by 10 extensions or station numbers the middle KTU is the control link for the two link and stations. The very top left hand corner is a three station expansion and down below we have three three station expansions and then I have a 247 to add touch tone to this system. When I got it it was rotary only. Then I have some additional KTUs. I do have the dial tone KTU that will be added in the vacant spot down at the bottom uh, right hand corner. This is the tombstone cabinet that the 6A equipment is mounted in. This cabinet's approximately 30 inches tall, 25 inches left to right, so that it can handle 23 inch wide KTU brackets. This entire assembly is about 80 pounds, 